Never trust anyone who has not brought a book with them. Reading is essential for those who seek to rise above the ordinary. I find television very educating. Every time somebody turns on the set, I go into the other room and read a book. Think before you speak. Read before you think. That's the thing about books. They let you travel without moving your feet. The reading of all good books is like conversation with the finest people of the past centuries. In the case of good books, the point is not to see how many of them you can get through, but rather how many can get through to you. Reading is an exercise in empathy, an exercise in walking in someone else's shoes for a while. Books are a uniquely portable magic. People say that life is the thing, but I prefer reading. Reading brings us unknown friends. The person who deserves most pity is a lonesome one on a rainy day who doesn't know how to read. Once you have read a book you care about, some part of it is always with you. Literature is the most agreeable way of ignoring life. There is more treasure in books than in all the pirates loot on Treasure Island. We are of opinion that instead of letting books grow moldy behind an iron grating, far from the vulgar gaze, it is better to let them wear out by being read. A room without books is like a body without a soul. It's not that I don't like people. It's just that when I'm in the company of others, even my nearest and dearest, there always comes a moment when I'd rather be reading a book. There is nothing more luxurious than eating while you read, unless it be reading while you eat. My alma mater was books, a good library. I could spend the rest of my life reading, just satisfying my curiosity. One glance at a book, and you hear the voice of another person. Perhaps someone dead for 1000 years. To read is to voyage through time. Man reading should be man intensely alive. The book should be a ball of light in one's hand. If we encounter a man of rare intellect, we should ask him what books he reads. Always read something that will make you look good if you die in the middle of it. Many people, myself among them, feel better at the mere sight of a book. Beware of the person of one book. Read the best books first or you may not have a chance to read them at all. Make it a rule never to give a child a book you would not read yourself. Books serve to show a man that those original thoughts of his aren't very new after all. I can't imagine a man really enjoying a book and reading it only once. You know you've read a good book when you turn the last page and feel a little as if you have lost a friend. Some books leave us free and some books make us free. Once you learn to read, you will be forever free. There are many little ways to enlarge your child's world. Love of books is the best of all. 
Wear the old coat and buy the new book. You may have tangible wealth untold, caskets of jewels and coffers of gold, richer than I can never be. I had a mother who read to me. The man who does not read good books is no better than the man who can't. Fill your house with stacks of books in all the crannies and all the nooks. A book is a gift you can open again and again. Show me a family of readers and I will show you the people who move the world.